All right, everyone. Today we are going to be taking a look at our new Grado headbands from Accessory House Global. We have two versions. We have the HB1, which is similar size to the original headband on your Grados. Uh, and then we have the HB2, which is a lot thicker in the width and also in the height or thickness of the uh, actual headband compared to the original. Now the HB1 and the HB2 are made with uh, black sheepskin leather. So this is the real stuff. It's not pleather. It's not fake imitation type leather. It's the real stuff. You can smell it and you'll know it. Um, and we've used some decent foam, soft foam inside here to give you a bit more cushioning for, you know, maybe you're one of those people that are uh, listening to your headphones two, three hours a day. And uh, one of the reasons you're stopping is because it, you're, the headband just isn't that comfortable. So a little bit more padding goes a long way in some situations. I have a set of SR80s here. I bought these broken, just so you know. I didn't trash a new set of headphones. Uh, and I've taken them apart already just to get ready for the installation, which will follow this. Um, this is the original headband. It is literally just a th very thin piece of pleather. And the metal headband obviously just slides through it. You can actually feel or see the metal when you bend it a bit. So you can see that metal right there. So there's, there's no actual padding. It's literally just the pleather that is aligned on both sides of it. Um, looking at certain headphones, any headphone that is uh, SR325 or higher, you most likely has come with one of the uh, leather Grado headbands. So if you were to buy one of these, obviously this headband here being the same size, as similar size as the original, that's going to be uh, very similar to buying a, a, the, the same headband on an SR325. And then when you get into the more GS1000 area, some people prefer a little bit thicker or bigger headband. Uh, and that's where the HB2 comes into play. Uh, but yeah, if you have anything below a 325, you're going to get one of these crappy things. And upgrading to one of these is probably a good idea. Alright, before you actually start to install anything, you do want to make sure you have some super glue, just in case, or another type of glue that will bond metal to plastic fairly well. Uh, don't worry, it doesn't make it permanent, but it is sticky. Uh, obviously, if you take your headband apart and then you find that it keeps falling off, it's going to be a bit annoying if you don't have it with you. So before you do anything, make sure you have some of this. Right, so <clears throat> looking at how we install one of our new HB1s or HB2s, um, you do have to be a little bit brave with these Grados because you have to separate the metal headband from inside of the clip on the side here. So obviously you have a clip on each side. It's a hard plastic clip and it doesn't separate. It's, it's literally molded as one piece and the headband slides in. So it goes in like that on each side. Um, the biggest issue you have with this is sometimes Grado might use a little bit of adhesive or glue to stick the metal onto the plastic piece. But in general, they have a hole here in the metal and there's a little plastic dimple on the inside of this clip and it slides on and over it and then that little dimple kind of keeps it and gives it a little bit of strength to stay in place so that when you sh you know were to shake it like that that your the ear uh, phone will just fall off basically or the headband won't detach um, you can see here I've taken the plastic piece and I've smashed it in half I had to use a hammer and a knife to actually separate this so it was straight through the plastic so it is one piece and I did that specifically because um, I wanted to show you you can see right here let's get a little focus on this baby there is a little dimple right there see that that was the dimple I've kind of hammered it and cut it straight off but that's where that piece of metal used to sit on top and it should sit exactly like this 
that's the little slot there. All right, so looking at installing our new headband, we're gonna use the HB1 because it's a similar size to the original on the SR80 here. Um, obviously, I've already taken apart my clip to show you guys how they're made. Um, normally, you only need to take off one of the actual earphones. So my, I already have one off and then you simply just slide the headband off like so. And then you're good to go. Now, when you're putting the next headband on, as it's leather and it's not like this really shiny and slippery uh, pleather, um, it can be a bit harder for the headband to go on because there's a bit more friction and obviously the end of this headband here is a little bit sharp. It can catch into some material, um, but it's nothing major. Uh, looking at the headband, you're just going to find the little gap on the end right there. That's where you're going to stick the headband, the metal headband into. Now we're going to try and do it this way where we feed it around. I found that that was the easiest way to actually get it on. Now as you get more and more on, if you bend it a little bit, like if you're here, if you just leave it like that and push it through it, if, because it's in a, a U shape, it's quite hard. So if you straighten it out a bit, it makes it a lot easier to push through. There we go. And there it is, all the way through. Now if you do run into any trouble and it is getting a catch, what you can do is just do a little bit of a wiggle on the metal. So you'll have this metal sticking out uh, however far it is and you just give it a little wiggle sideways and that will hopefully loosen it up and move it forward a bit. So you can give it a little wiggle and a push and then that sometimes helps. But the main thing is when you put it on like this and you straighten this out a bit, and feed it through. So now we have the headband replaced and we just have to stick the other side of the headphone on. Right, so because I only have one earphone and one clip that is going to fit onto this headband, I'm just going to show you with the one that I have how you would put it back in and it's literally very, very simple. Um, you might need to use some glue if you find that just doing this, you just put it in and that little dimple on the inside holds it in place. Then you start to use it and you see that it's kind of falling off randomly or it's not really sticking the way it should. You might want to use some Loctite or super glue similar to that. Now we don't include this in the sale because it's considered like a hazardous material and we can't. So if you want to send it across borders to different countries into Amazon and etc., you have to say this is in it and it just makes, there's a lot more red tape around it. So um, there is a warning at the start of the video that you might need this. So hopefully you have got it. Um, I'm going to show you how much to put on and how to stick it to this clip here next just so you have an idea because you don't need a lot it's very very little is what you need right so I have my clip here now obviously in this situation I could just put glue right on there normally you can't do that because the clip doesn't come apart so you're gonna end up putting glue on the actual headband here and then you're going to place it into the slot here and push. So if we had my slot right here is my old slot where I had the other half of uh, the headband clip, it would just slide in like that and then what you wanna do is push it inwards to the headphone. So you're gonna have to hold it like that, I'd say probably for about a minute and then it's kind of taken and then I'd put the headphones down and let it sit for like three, four minutes and then it's probably gonna be fine. Um, I'm going to glue this on and then I'm going to show you uh, how you can still separate it so in the future if, if you want to get put on a new headband it's, uh, it's not permanently glued. Alright so we're going to get the glue. It is quite sticky obviously so I have a cloth underneath just in case it drips and if because it gets on your table it's going to be a mess you're not going to get it off. Now I'm going to put a little dab here. You only need a little dab like that. 
Only about. It's a very small amount, and you gotta be pretty quick to attach it, so I'm just gonna stick it on right there. You can see it's on. Right, so once you hold it for a while, you can then simply just set it down, let it rest for maybe three, four minutes. All right, so it's been about two or three minutes. As you can see, that is stuck on pretty good. It's not gonna shake off. So if you want to actually remove it in the future though, it's not that hard. You just grip it and do the twist thing and you'll see it comes off again. So no big deal. However, it does work and it will keep it on. Um, if you do need a little extra help because the uh, original uh, dimple thing doesn't work as well. Um, other than that though, if you do have any questions about this product or the installation, drop me a message at accessoryhouse at btinternet.com. Cheers.